Hello, this is Jonathan Johnson here again today working with Windows Server 2008 inside of VMware. Today we're do going to be doing activity 5-11, adding a folder and folder target in DFS. The, object the objective for today's activity is add a folder in DFS. A description for this video is, in this activity you add a folder under the DFS namespace root you have created. Step 1 would be to log onto your server, of course, which we've already done. So we're going to open the DFS management tool if it is not already open. So we're going to click start, hover over administrative tools, click DFS management to open up DFS uh, management toolbox. Now we open that, we're going to right click the namespace you created in the tree under namespaces. So we click namespace and right here we have the name so we right click that. Um, we're going to click uh, new folder on the top of the box that opens up. When we right click it we click new folder. In the new folder dialog box we're going to enter documentation plus your initials as the name of the new folder such as documentation JJ. So documentation so documentation plus your initials so JJ for the initials as the name of the new folders all right, and we're going to click Add. Wait, did I put that in the wrong spot? In the new folder dialog box. New fo okay, yeah, no, it didn't. And we click Add. So, click the Add button to add to the path to the documentation folder you set up as a shared folder in Activity. In the Add Folder Target dialog box, we're going to click the Browse. So we click Browse right there in the Add Folder dialog box to find the documentation folder you shared. All right, there it is. Now uh, we're going to double click the folder and it should appear in the path folder target text box as shown in figure 516. So double click that and there it is. There's the namespace one, Windows Server JJ. That's the one we had uh, set up. That's all I have for you on this video. Well, actually wait, my bad. We'll click OK. OK, there now shows folder targets as there. Notice that the folder target you configured now appears in the folder targets box. We're going to click OK in the new folder dialog box you'll see the new folder listed under the namespace in the tree. So we click OK. There it is. Under namespaces it shows the server we had set up earlier and we made it public so everyone has access to this uh, folder target in the DFS. Um, we're going to close the DFS management tool. Okay. And that's all I have for you on this video on Activity 511, adding a folder and folder target in DFS. Basically, all it does is make it to where, like, okay, remember well, last time we created the namespace root, so we're gonna we added the folder target and using DFS management into that namespace root. So okay, I just go into that folder, go into the server through that folder. Okay, access these certain files into that, and that's uh, basically just a tool to tool for separation and keep things clean and healthy. Uh, make sure it's not all cluttered, and uh, it's just target paths. Internet uses them too. Um, that's all I have for this video. I hope you learned a little something about the adding a folder and a folder target in DFS. Thank you. See me in the future videos and have a nice day. Bye.